Welcome to how an officer thinks, number 11. So as an officer, you can shoot at least twice at the spawn until they come here. I discussed this in the previous episode. We're also gonna switch to another map anyways. Just watch this epic horse kill. See, told you it only takes two shots for the enemy to get here. So here I am checking both corners. The great thing about officers is that you get to walk around while reloading. So use that advantage to your advantage. See my teammates going to this barn, so last guys might be in the barn. One aiming at the entrance, that was close. But I see that my teammates are there ensuring me that the Brits don't have all the sides covered. Also, one of the British up there just shot. Thought it was the Scott Light Infantry. He presents his rifle. Keeping my eyes on the top of the screen, the Scott is ready to jump. So I'm quick on my draw. I don't know if I hit the wood, but wood usually bleeds. So I think I hit him. By the way, did you notice anything here? Yeah, I'll play the clip again. You'll need your hearing abilities for this. You got five seconds to tell me. Nope, you can hear the sounds of a guy reloading. That's why I felt in the clear to just get up there and kill. But then there's another guy. Good thing you missed because I could have became French toast. Since he's blocking with a small sword, he doesn't have the range to block his other arm. And that's how I was able to slice it up. And I hear the rifleman reloading to the right of me. Why would you go back to the barn? Oh, he almost got away with that actually. You might have noticed that I'm playing the yellow officer, and I've said many times that yellow officer sucks. Okay, yellow officers suck, and anything that has to do with yellow, sucks. This is the best route you can see if the enemy is coming through the garden or not, just by looking through the hole. By the way, it takes longer for the bridge to get here. I go up this ladder to look ahead instead of opening the door. But be careful when you go up the ladder, because sometimes there'll be muskets pointed at the ladder. I third person, and here they come. When you are going for risky shots like this, you gotta always... Make sure your teammate has your back. This is also the best place for anyone to be in because you can see the entire garden, enemy side, and even the already hill. I alert my teammates that there's some sus people at the garden. And I just hit that Scottish guy. Oh, someone just got hit by the cannon. I left those guys alone because they're just role players. From all that smoke, I couldn't tell if I hit him or not. Hopping over this wall to get this bayonet guy. Oh, well, it failed, but he's coming here anyways. And I hit it when they just hit me in the last second. Checking to see if this area is secure. I actually haven't seen the Artie yet, so I'm gonna try to identify him. Looks like it's our guy. Now this part here, right here, I was actually impressed myself. I didn't see the direction that he went because of all the smoke, but what did I say earlier about going this route? Is that you can use the holes to see people. Or you can just do this. Nice, and he doesn't even know. It's such a good feeling to do guerrilla warfare. I should have gotten closer, but he's just one hit, and he's the last guy. So I just full send it. Also, I found a new trick. I call this the standstill. Because it leaves you standing still. Plop. I think it's time to go on side quest. Again, I used the host to see that the Brits are coming here. Oof, teammate gets shot, but I avenge him. That was a hit because I did not see the dirt. Honestly, I have no clue why I stood still reloading. I could have just walked. French guy pops out giving me clearance. I do see smoke. So I look at the leaderboard. And I see that the... Holy cow, I gotta take cover somehow. Okay, well that was very lucky right there. I open the door on the other side because this guy is breaking that door. And I do not want to be on that side. When the door is broken. Oh, but I'm pretty sure I hit that ginger up there. Because he turned around. I see this guy there. And oh boy, we're in a terrible situation. We're gonna have to go inside and face off whatever's in there. And as you can see by my movements, I de I'm deciding if I should go backwards or inside or whatever. So I can't choose and I'm wasting time. But I get lucky again and this guy tries to present his rifle. But Bayonet Reach gets me. What could I have done better? Alright, so back on the roof, I hear Axe Guy. And then a green German guy comes, so I jump in and save the day. Oh wow, we're actually kind of surrounded. Whoa, officer, bad idea to jump down there. I do not want to get touched by the sapper, so I try to- I do the zigzags. I have no clue how he missed that, that is just that, that. I want to get this guy out of here, so I charge him and bait him out. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, H. Christ. Alright, this has gone on for way too long. Let's just end this with a good old fashioned pistol snipe. Oh, first try, by the way.
He said, geez, and yes. So it was indeed a hit. Yeah.